Martino was obviously really, really excited. A lot of us former players and coaches who had a chance to work for him and play for him, really excited to see him get back in the game where he belongs. And it's just the second meeting for these two teams since 1957. Evansville had their opener against Louisville in 2016 and lost that game. So far, so good. We expect a lot of bumps in the road this year, but we've gotten off to a great start college basketball-wise the first three days. Take a look. David Johnson, step back, knocks it down. Johnson backs it up against Gambrel. Now gets a screen. Creative dribble. Sets up Withers. Bottom of the well. How nifty was that play by Johnson? It's almost a nifty play by Johnson. Got Cleveland hype in the house. Yeah, Louisville seems like they found their, their offensive continuity and, and at the beginning they should you see out of bounds play. Nice little backdoor play to JJ Trainer. Louisville's been a bit sloppy in the last 30 seconds. Defensively inbounding the basketball, breaking the press. Ah! Yeah, that cleans up a lot of this. Jalen Withers at the rim. Chance for another three-point play. Being able to pass the ball, get it to the middle. And you see as soon as Johnson got it, got it up, a lob to Withers. Big fella going up, having a great first half. See again, nice lob, the finish for the and one. Point lead, five seconds remaining first half. Johnson, score the goal! Wonderful clock management, David Johnson, the sophomore. Things out over the last 10 minutes in Louisville, comfortably ahead after 20 minutes. All the scoring for Western Kentucky in about the last 90 seconds as the offense has gotten going in a flurry and David Johnson snuffs it out. He did a good job catching passes in traffic, finishing, and being much more engaged and ready on offense. Down the floor, Davis gets the lay in. Well, I need to octuple check anything that I see on Twitter, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna need eight sources before I can verify. Look at that Cardinal right there with Adidas sneakers on and dunking the basketball like that. that. That's as good as we have in college basketball. He missed by not having a Khalid Jones on the floor because he sets everyone else up. And it's going to be an and one after the turnovers. David Johnson hustled down to score. He'll go to the line. More of a score. You see good defense and then out in transition. And for David Jones, getting him started early is big for Chris Mack, being able to get him there. And you see the reach. The Panthers buried early, playing without two of their big stars that fought back to tie it. Now the Cardinals have it. And where right did the buzzer David Johnson score? He really going to go to the loser's locker room. If you haven't seen Louisville, keep an eye on number one, Carly Jones. As Johnson buries the three, the assist to Jones. First round draft choices, you got a transfer seven foot who everybody raved about coming to school. You got a chance to win. Johnson with a three, the assist to Jones and Louisville back on top. Fourth at the Young Center. It started with David Johnson banging down a three for Louisville. Pretty good in my sixth grade. Pretty good. Not bad. A little ball screen up on top. For a tough shot. And wow. goes. And Chris Max says, good shot. That's a good shot. Here in Lakewood Ranch, Florida. Time wow. Out. Kentucky, a 30 second time. Should have had it all away. Is the zone. Very active. 2 3. He said it plays in zone. Davis with a good look from the corner. Misses the three. Oh. Offensive rebound, Johnson. What a great play by David. Do some zone. What did he say? He said, I welcome the zone. And he is getting a big time performance from Johnson. Look at how excited the bench was. The sophomores got 16 points. Shot it well from three point distance as well, Brian. 10 of 23 for the Eagles. 43% from beyond the arc. That's fine. Ball movement and a bucket and a foul. Jalen Withers. Just the 13th all time meeting between the programs. Driving Slizinski all the way to the rim. How about that dime from David Johnson where Louisville's found some success early. Second chance opportunities. Boston College are doing good, playing good defense, but you got to limit those second chance opportunities. How about Johnson catch and release. Thank you very much for the three. Brian, 11 points. Again, we talked about the ability to be able to score from the backcourt. Right now, Louisville. Trainer got the board. Here's Jones. Johnson, one dribble, stepping back and ripping the ropes. That's a three ball for David Johnson.
How about his first half? Chris Mack said we got to be very cognizant of where Jalen Cohn is because they will run him off a lot of screens trying to get him free. And Louisville cuts it to three with a triple from beyond the arc. And so Keve Aluma was not available last year, so automatically he became the best player. <laughs> and, uh, you know, maybe there was some truth to that because he's the best player this year. And certainly capitalized on the sit-out year and has come back early on in the conference season. Johnson Hoyt and hits, and that looks just like the guy that we saw in the first half at Boston College on Saturday from three. And that's the trainer just held his position, didn't let Oklahoma get by, made it contested the shot. Johnson with the first two for Louisville. Now when Lucius gets it, he's usually going to shoot it. Ah, trainer at the rim from Johnson. Well, that's a really nice pass. Chris Mack said this morning, the first four minutes he gave up five offensive rebounds in his area. Louisville trying to make a little run here. Saturday in the win against North Carolina. He also had five assists, four rebounds, three steals against the Heels. But the last several games he's played much better. I think you mentioned the 25 he had against BC and, and had a, a good offensive game against Pittsburgh. Right, 15 points in that one. Jalen Johnson having himself a day, but the Cardinals have to find an answer to Matthew Hurt if they're going to win this one. And he's done a nice job staying in front of Jones for the most part. Double digits for the eighth time this season for Dawes. He's got three threes in the game at the other end. It's Johnson. So David Johnson working in the paint and scoring. Try to force it down low. Johnson from beyond the arc hits the three. You might expect for an unusual Monday afternoon, but David Johnson burying this three. Cards lead early. Watching the view or whatever else you'd be doing on a, on a Monday afternoon. Well, that's, that's just you. <laughs> that's not you. to start the game 11 points and nobody's really guarding wide open space part of it is they change defenses but they have really good hands Johnson another three and Usher just put his hands up what am I going to do about this guy to the goal but the cards on top of the three ball Johnson wants to clear out and use the screen gets to the rim what a drive by Johnson well, these two guards, a nice bounce back after their Clemson loss. Those two guys, <laughs> right off the shoe, David Johnson. <laughs> but what was the greatest benefit, Corey, for the Tar Heels getting that game in earlier this week? Well, it was to get a home game, to be completely honest. 11 points and 11.7 rebounds per game, so getting back in the starting lineup, I'm sure much more expected of Samuel Williams as we see David Johnson with a nice finish. Well, is a very good offensive rebounding team in itself. We mentioned in the first half, they are the second best team in the ACC in rebound margin, and you can't do that without getting it done on the offensive class. He showed in the open the baseline screen to get him a three. There, you just slice him down there, get him a post up. Johnson looking for room to operate. A little fall away. Got it to go. David Johnson. Being inclined to get into the NCAA tournament, but just as we went on air tonight, Joey Brackets hit the slam, and David Johnson going airborne. Beautifully done by Johnson as he swoops into the paint for two. Duke has won four consecutive games. Joe Lenardi thinks if they win tonight, they win in a slam by Johnson who goes airborne again. Is this drive for David Johnson rejects the screen. Not high and he'll get another opportunity. Good defense. Once again, and they played great defense throughout the night, and a quick strike on the other end. Like this, you get an offensive board, but you end up turning it over, and this is, you know, this is another area, Dave, where Louisville did a nice job. Seminoles will be the number one seed. You know, people had Virginia for dead, right? A few weeks ago, Seminoles crushed them. Now they got a chance to win a title. They get a number one seed and tie for a title. So the Cardinals need an answer. 
with 15 and a half to play. The kick here for Johnson, and he does answer in a big way. So can Louisville crawl back in it? Well, they can that way with Johnson stuffing it home. Made them look like a better offensive team than they did early on. And now a steal by Johnson, one-on-one -on -one with Goldwire. It's a 14-0 run for Louisville, and it's a tie game. Good look for Williamson on the feed from Jones, and the follow for Johnson. Just that action got the shot. It's been a game of runs. Duke caught to start the second half. Louisville with a much-needed bucket as they try to get back into it again.